Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. In uh, this video, I'm going to do the first uh, lab uh, for uh, Juniper. So uh, this is something that I'm planning to, to do also for you, to just show you how you can do the configuration on Juniper routers using the uh, Juno S or Junos, what we call it, which is the operating system on Juniper. So I'm going to do a very simple lab. I'm going to show you how you can uh, apply IP addresses to the uh, Junos and then uh, on two routers to be able to ping each other. So that's a very simple lab because it's going to be the first lab uh, using Juniper. All right, so here I do have two routers, as you can see. We have Junos 1 and I have Junos 2. Actually, those are running on the GNS3. And if you want, I can just show you here. This is GNS3. And uh, the interface which we're going to use uh, for these two routers uh, is the EM0. So EM0 on Junos 1 and EM0 on uh, Junos 2. Now, I'm going to do also another lab to show you how you can use uh, Junos on GNS3. So I'm going to show you all steps, how you can install Junos to work correctly on GNS3. Now, let's start directly to see how we can set IP addresses on Junos and then to see if those two routers can ping each other. So at this moment, I'm on the shell level. We need to go to the operational level. So the comment that we need to write is CLI. You can see we have a greater sign here. And from here, if I say show interfaces and then uh, there's, and then you can see that EM0, which is this one, this is the connected one on this router. It doesn't have an IP address. Same if we go, this is Junos2 uh, actually. If we go to Junos1 and we do the same, and over here we have to say show interfaces, and then uh, we have to say there's, and then you can see also EM0 doesn't have any IP address. All right, so what we need now to do is to start putting IP address. So let's start with this router. This is the first router. So to start putting IP addresses, we have to go from uh, this level, we have to go to the configure level. You can either write configure or you can write edit. So both are okay. All right, now, of course, those things they are all explained on Juniper GNCIA, which is the certificate. So what are the different levels? And uh, that's something I will plan to do a course for that. But now we are on the root level. The first thing we need to do, or we have to think of, is to put a password. Because by default, the router doesn't have a password. And we have to put a password for the root. All right. So to do that, we have to say set system. And we have to say root authentication, and then question mark. We have to use, let's use plain, this one, plain text password. So I will use Juniper123, Juniper123, all right? And then I will say commit to save my configuration. So this is done here. Let's do it also on this level. Why we need to use the password? Because if you don't have password, you cannot you do commit. Commit means to save the configuration. So let's go to router two now. And over here, I have uh, also to say configure this time. And you can see it also takes you to uh, the configuration level. And then from here, we have to say set system. And then from here, we have to say the root authentication, plain text, password. Also, I'm going to use Juniper123, Juniper123. Very good. And let's save this. Excellent. So now we have to start working on making the IP address. So let's go first to the router one. So how to do that? We have to go from here and we have to say edit and then interface. And if you make question mark, then you have to put the interface name. In my case, it is EM0. All right. On GNS3, you connect to EM0. If you have a real Juniper router, then if you are connected to fast Ethernet 0 over 0 or gigabit Ethernet 0 over 0, you know, because you are putting the cable to the router. All right, so we are there. Now, if we make question mark, then we have also a lot of things we can write here. But from this level, we still have to go to what we call it the unit zero. All right, so uh, now we have to go to the edit unit and then question mark. And if you want to put an IP address on the EM zero, you have to go to unit zero. All right, so this is, uh, we have to do it. Then we can see we are now on the level interface EM0, unit 0. 
Now, but you can not still put now an IP address because under the unit zero, there's also a logical uh, interface. You have to go to it, which is the family. All right, so we still have to say edit. And then if we make question mark, we see the family. So we have to say edit family. And then from here, if you, you have to say question mark also, we say init. And that's wh why init, because that's we need to put an IP version for others. So we have to use the init. All right, so that's it. You can see we have here enter. Enter means that the command is finished. And now what you need to do now, we have to say set and question mark, you have the address. You see the address over here? So we put an address. So set address, question mark, and then the address we have to put the source, which is, well, let's put this IP 192.1.2.1, which is on router one slash 24. All right, now if I say show, we can see that under the interface EM0, unit zero, family, INET, so we have this IP, 192.168.12.1, and let's do commit to save the configuration, and here we go. So this is done on router one. Let's go to router two. Let's clear this screen, and then from here, we should first go to the edit interface EM0, all right, so that's what we need to do here. And then we have to say edit and then question mark. We should go to the unit. You can see edit the unit and then it should be zero. Very good. And uh, we can also say here family right away, family inet. And let's do that. So we go to this level inside the DM0 interface that is the Physical interface, unit zero is the logical interface, and then we have to go to family inet to put the IP address. And now we have to say your set address 192.168.12.2 slash 24. So we have from one side 192.168.12.1, from the other side 192.168.12.2, so they are on the same range. And now what I need to do is just to say commit. Or oh, before I do the commit, let's say show. So you see that it has this IP. Receive, very good. Now I have to say commit. And that's it. So that's now we have IP addresses. And if you want, let's go here, clear, go up. And then if I say exit, actually we have to say also many times exit or quit. So let's go to this level where we are now on the operational level. And from here, if I say now show, interfaces ters so we can see that the em0 now it has this ip 192.168.12.1 let's try to ping from this router to the second router so let's do ping and then the host is 192.168.12.2 and here we go you can see i have a ping reply same if we go to that router so if we go to uh, here and we say quit and now we say show interface there's and then we see this is the IP there if we try to ping to 192.168.12.1 and here we go we have also the ping working very good so uh, also another comment that I would like to show it to you which gives you some more details which is show interface instead of saying terse, you say brief, then you have some more information, which is for me, this one, the EM0, that's what I want to see. And uh, so you can see some more information showing up over there. All right, that's uh, really what I wanted to show you in this lab, just to uh, be a bit familiar with Juniper. And uh, of course, I'm planning to do more videos for you about the Juniper. So to be more familiar with the Junos operating system, which is really nice because Junos and uh, Juniper, they are also uh, very big in the market. And uh, a lot of uh, network engineers who knows how to use Juniper, uh, they can also find uh, very good uh, jobs, especially because Juniper, they have a very uh, big products for data center and core networks. So uh, the, then uh, if you know how to use Junos, then this will help you to have a better job uh, maybe for you. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. 
I hope it was informative for you and I will see you in uh, some other videos and most likely the upcoming video will be how to have Junos installed on GNS3. So thank you very much and see you in some other videos.